Hello. Welcome back to another Talking Vertical News Show with your host, Liam. Um, I don't know why I went into news article. Uh, this is a informal climbing news podcast come video that we're going to be sharing bi-weekly to try and grab all of the climbing news, super sends, media, anything and everything that we think you guys need to know about. Now, this is episode two. Um, still working out the best camera angle and where the mic should be. I've moved it. I've got rid of the thing. I don't know what this does. It might sound really bad. It might sound really good. Who knows? Um, in today's episode, we are going to cover how um, climbing manufacturers are adapting their manufacturing to help with the COVID-19 effort. We're going to look at two super sends that we found that have either happened this week or have come up in the news this week. Um, share an awesome climbing field with you guys and how you can see it. And then we'll go back and we'll look at some more guys home walls that have been built. Soup a duper. Uh, if uh, none of that sounds interesting to you, please leave a comment below on any other features that you guys would like to see me introduce here. Let's go. So the first bit of news I wanted to share with you guys is that the big climbing manufacturers are actually coupling together or coupling together, uh, pivoting, making their work, manufacturing things, lines, um, Adapted to make PPE for the COVID-19 crisis. Um, I don't need to go into the COVID-19 crisis at all, but I'm sure a lot of you have seen that PPE is pretty short. Now, the article I'm looking at is on UKClimbing.com. Um, the link again will be below. Um, the DMM headquarters, headquarters in Wales, for if you guys don't know who DMM is, where have you been in the climbing world? But they are a big UK-based climbing brand. Pretty cool. But what they're doing is they're adapting their manufacturing facilities to make things like face shields, all of this to be able to help with the PPE effort. I think it's really awesome. I'm guessing not many people are buying climbing equipment anyway. So super cool to see up on screen. I'm sure you can see that I've scrolled down through the post. They've got a thing on their Facebook explaining a bit more what they're doing. If you guys want to do it, see it, go and check out the article in the um, thing below. And also, you can see their Facebook. It's a super, super cool company. Um, and they're doing pretty awesome things with the COVID-19. <laughs> now, moving on. We are, we're going to look at something we're going to call a feature called Super Sends. Um, does it need like a Super Sends? Or should it just be Super Sends? I don't know. Um, the first one is from a climber who is based in Barcelona or is native to Barcelona or Spain. Called Sylvia v Vidal. V Vidal. Um, I'm I'm just a dyslexic and B. I'm not even going to try and pretend I know how to pronounce Spanish Spanish names. But she's completed a first ascent of the Synchronia Magia, a one thousand one hundred eighty meter five ten C um solo climb um in March. What makes this climb even more awesome is not, is it just a first ascent of the big wall? It was actually, she sent it over 33 days um, with no assistance from the outside world or a communication. I'm not sure I could do 33 days of communication sitting here in my office, let alone climb a big wall. That is super cool to see. Um, the time she did it in was from the 7th of April to the 10th of March. No satellite phone, no communication. Um, it was done well before this COVID-19 stuff erupted, so don't worry about that. Super cool to see. Super Send number two comes from a man called Hugo Parmentier. Par Parmentier. Uh, again, it's a, this one looks like a French name. Definitely a French name, I think. It is a... First repeat of a climb set by Adam Ondra in 2018. The climb is a 9B climb at St. Lugo de Ventoux in France. Um, the climb itself is called Eagle 4. The lad is only 21 years old. It's a pretty awesome climb to see. There's even a video on the screen. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a video popped up now. I'm not going to play the video because 
I'll get done for like copyright and what you guys want to see that link on this um, one is from planetmountain.com um, was up on their thing I'm sure you can see on other news outlets super cool to see people going out there and climbing 9Bs I'm not going to create a 9B counter like um, climbing daily's new show because they're far cooler than I am but yeah should we move on <laughs> right now we're going to look at a awesome bit of media that's coming out so with all of the shabakal the shabak whatever you want to call it a lot of you are watching climbing films now there is one climbing film that i think is pretty awesome it is the big bang um the big bang is a story of how emma twyford um powered crimped and climbed and screamed her way to the top of the big bang in oh no another name i can't pronounce lower pen trin lower pen trin basically she took three years to climb this pretty hard super cool climbing route um now i haven't told you how you can see it yet now i saw a snippet of this when i was up at the Celtic mountain festival that was super cool to see um you guys can see it by going and seeing facebook a facebook watch party which I think it basically is a thing where you can, they'll air it on Facebook. It's on Friday the 17th of April at 8pm. I don't have a link to the watch party, just Google it, you know. Oh, that's made my screen jump around and you'll find it. Um, super cool film, super cool film people. Um, Emma Twyford, the filmmaker David Petz, both really cool people. I got to meet them and talk to them and get some questions. If you guys want to ask some questions, you've got the opportunity to... Um, Part of the awesomeness of Facebook watch parties is that they can be there in the chat with you. And I don't know whether it will be before or after, but Emma Twyford and David Petz will be there for your questions. Make sure you don't miss that, guys. It is an epic film, an epic climb with some really nice people. You thought I was going to say like awesome or super, didn't you? Right, 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 right. Do I talk too fast? I feel like I want this to last longer. No, moving on. So last week we did a little feature called um, Home Walls, whatever you want to call it. We basically looked at a couple of some pretty awesome home walls on Instagram and we're going to do the same again today. Now I found two I've just picked off the Instagram that tickled my fancy. The first one comes from a Instagrammer, I can pronounce this one, um, at Maxwell Hand. It's popped up on screen. He's captioned it as when the climbing wall closes, this is what happens. I like this one. It's just another simple send and um, built on the side of container. Seeing this happening more and more, it looks pretty cool. It's quite colorful, quite basic, but I like the fact it's just been built. People climbing hard. You've got your, 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 your mat down, you know, you've got it going. Um, I, I like the comment. This is legit. Yeah. Yeah, this is legit. Cool. Nice one, Max. Um, I'm going to start tagging people in the actual Instagram post for this. <laughs> Home wall number two comes from a Instagram tag of at Allison at altitude. Now this home wall um, is even a video. I wonder if I'll share the video. Basically, it's a home wall that looks like it's in someone's bedroom. Uh, two things that make this one awesome. Let's go three, actually. Three, it's in someone's bedroom. Two, it goes onto the roof. Like... Like, I've seen that a little bit, but not in a bedroom. And three, there's a bear. There's a bear. Ah, a bear. Yeah, it's so cool. Um, super cool to see, guys. Um, there's some hashtags on the right-hand side, I've just realized. Um, don't show that Instagram post to your kids. <laughs> okay, cool. Right, moving on. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, that's your news today on Sunday, the something of April. Who knows? Um, thank you. I hope you enjoyed it. If there's anything, any features, you'd be like, oh, you know what? You guys should cover that. Just hit me up on socials. I mean, you can share this if you want to. It'll be on probably most of the social medias. See you guys in a couple of days. I forgot my catchphrase that I decided I was going to say. Bye. The Talking Vertical News Show was brought to you by LKS Climbing, hosted by Liam Kilsby. Steel, stay safe and train hard.